Hello travel buddies. In this episode we will take you to Rwanda, the land of thousand hills. It is still quite an untapped tourist destination with a lot of potential. We will take you around Kigali the capital city and show you some must-see places. Share with you some important travel information. Give you some tips and recommendations. And take you around our lodge with the most stunning views. So, don't miss out on this experience, and come and join us. Welcome to our family travel channel and thank you for joining us on this episode. Our trip started in Germany, we flew via Doha in Qatar, to Kigali, our destination in Rwanda. Please note, that depending from where you are coming, you might need a visa, which you can get on arrival at the airport. The airport was nice, clearly arranged, not too large. After getting our visas and fetching our suitcases, we were even able to buy there directly some SIM cards, loaded with sufficient data volume, which we could also start using immediately. Our pre-arranged driver from the 5 Swiss Hotel was waiting for us already with our name card. We were positive surprised about the order and the neat infrastructure. Although you had everywhere the small motorbikes, which are a very popular public transport in Rwanda, the traffic was still in order. The airport is just next to the city, so the 12 kilometers drive to the lodge took us only 20 minutes. On the arrival at our Eagles View Lodge, we were astonished by the spectacular views from the lodge. In reality it was even much better than what we saw on the internet. During our stay here we tried out two different apartments. You will find on our channel a separate clip, just with the detailed review of this lodge. We will also list for you the contact details in the description below. We had some spectacular days, where the clouds were low above the Kigali city. On this days was our lodge basically above the clouds. What a great experience, to have such a stunning view, right from your terrace. No matter if during the day or during the night, the view was just amazing. The breakfast and the food in general was great. We loved at breakfast the fresh made smoothie from the lodge owned fruit plantations, and the African tea which was made with spicy ginger. The interior of the lodge had some interesting African art incorporated. From all a bit, from traditional items up to modern art. A great concept with the right fine touch. A gorilla chess version was as well something we didn't see before, quite interesting.
being at such a high place, with the best view over Kigali, it was also very interesting, to observe the clouds and how they form, change the shape and throw a gentle shade over the city. Even if we felt so comfortable at the lodge, of course we could not just sit there the whole time. In the beginning we considered to rent a car and drive around, on our own. But then we got a spontaneous recommendation from another guest, best regards to Adele, of a tour guide who could also take us around Kigali. In the end, it was the best we could have done. Kenny was a local guy, who had the best knowledge about his country and what we should see it best. He picked us up still the very same day from the lodge and took us around the city. Whilst touring around, we learned so much and heard many interesting stories about Rwanda, the people and the culture. Kenny seemed to know just everything, and on top of it, he was as well a very pleasant and friendly man. You will find on our channel some separate clips with more details of the city tours we made with him. Have look and don't miss out on the top recommendations of what you should see in Kigali. Should you consider to arrange a tour with him as well, we will provide Kenny's contact details here in the description below. Of course a must-see in Kigali is the Kigali Genocide Memorial. The memorial is the final resting place for more than 250,000 victims of the genocide against the Tutsi. This memorial also serves to educate about how the genocide against the Tutsi took shape, where around 1 million victims lost their lives in just 90 days. Unfortunately we were not allowed to record any videos inside the memorial. We recommend to visit as well the Iribi Basket Collection. An enormous collection of beautiful decorative, handmade baskets by local artisans, who are working to socially improve their livelihoods through the production of these home use and lifestyle baskets. Of course we could not resist to get us some nice Rwandan art pieces for home. For more details, see our separate clip with the top places must see in Kigali. Another must see in Kigali is for sure the Kimaranko Market. The market is located in the Kimaranko neighborhood and is the busiest market in town. Vendors here sell products from Rwanda, Uganda, Kenya, and the Democratic Republic of Congo. Wiles locals from all over the city head here to stock up on fruit, vegetables, fabric, clothing, shoes, and general household necessities. So basically you find here everything you can just imagine. Our little girl was as well very curious to see all these colorful items, which she never saw before, all over the place. It was good that Kenny was with us, he could explain us everything and which products are needed for what and how the food is being prepared. This market is where the city truly comes to life. If you still need to pick up souvenirs or just want to get a taste of what an East African market is like, you can't miss out on this experience. We also got here some souvenirs for a real bargain. This is the place to experience Rwanda at its liveliest. The market is housed in a large warehouse complex, with four equidistant entrances. Open seven days a week from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. Saturday and Monday mornings are said to be the busiest, and Sundays are usually little slower. But get ready to be overwhelmed. Look at all this beautiful and colorful fabrics, we love them all. If you like this clip, 
please give us thumbs up. We and other travelers would love to hear about your experiences in Rwanda. Perhaps you have also some other must-see recommendations. Then please leave us your comments here below. And if you don't want to miss out on our new, Explore With Us uploads, then hit the red subscribe button and activate the bell. You will be then informed about our latest family travel tips, hints and reviews. With the subscription you also help our channel to grow further, so that we can create more valuable content for you. Our next must-see in Rwanda is the Inima Art Gallery. Inima is Rwanda's largest art center, with room for 10 local artists to explore their creative genius and present their work. The art center has evolved into a platform for various artists who communicate through creative expression. Several Rwandan creative artists make up the Inima Art Center. The specialties at Inima are music, dance, African contemporary arts, and crafts. The gallery features portraits, sculptures, and other artistic objects created and shown by the artists. The center also conducts a variety of projects and activities aimed at promoting Rwanda's creative arts and offering a forum for creative expression through workshops, training, and practical instruction. When you enter the art museum, you will be greeted with a large gorilla statue. This art masterpiece conveys the sense of a country working hard to protect its natural riches, which have made this country a guerrilla tour destination to be reckoned with, as well as a country that is swiftly embracing technological innovation. As an example, Rwanda recently became the first country on the continent to create electro motorbikes, as well as the first country to produce a smartphone with all of its components built in Rwanda. For more details about this attraction, see our separate upcoming clips on our channel. We were very fortunate to be invited to visit a fruit plantation at the Lake Miravi, thanks to Mr. William for the tour arrangement. The place was just 60 kilometers out of town. The weather, as you can see, was not really on our side, but still it was a very interesting drive. The plantation was supplying the fruits such as, mangoes, bananas, etc. to the lodge where we stayed. It was very interesting to see what is happening behind the scenery of our food supply, and from where it actually also comes. Not only fruits but also palm trees were cultivated here. Here, one of such let's say, heavy-duty bikes.
on which the fruits were as well transported. And here one in action. Back in the city was the Niandunga Eco Park on our program. In the heart of Rwanda's capital city, the once degraded wetland brings to Kigali City the largest green space that constitutes an educational and recreational eco park. The eco park includes 17,000 trees made up of 55 indigenous species and a medicinal garden with 50 species. It also features the Pope's garden right from the place where Pope John Paul II stood while reading the Mass surrounded by thousands of Catholic Church followers. The park includes eight ponds, an information center, a restaurant as well as 10 kilometers of walkways and bike lanes. Urban wetlands play a critical role in preventing flooding, addressing pollution and are home to unique biodiversity. As we face the impacts of climate change, wetlands will be a key ally to protect lives and livelihoods. The Niandunga Eco Park provides a space for residents and visitors to the city to explore and learn from nature, and is part of Rwanda's efforts to harness ecotourism to restore biodiversity and conserve urban wetland ecosystems. What could be better after such a successful Kigali tour than a cold Virunga on the terrace of our Eagles View Lodge? A perfect round off of a great explore with us sign scene tour around the capital city of Rwanda. Last but not least, let us share with you some impressions of the beautiful vegetation at our lodge. And here a beautiful flower of a granadilla or also know as the passion fruit. But what is actually the meaning behind this name? The passion flower's features were found to be symbolic of the crucifixion of Christ, also knows and the passion of the Christ. The three stigmata represent the three nails, and the five anthers below them, the five wounds, four by the nails and one by the lance. And this is a banana tree, from which we harvested the bananas for the smoothies as well. And here's sugar cane. And if you are looking for some cool Explore With Us designs, then please check out our online shop. You will find there hundreds of fashion and accessories designs, with brand logos of couples, and families with one, two, or three kids. The link you will find in the description below. We hope this clip was informative for you. We would like to recommend you this two clips as well, have a look, it could be interesting for you. And if you don't want to miss out on our new uploads, then hit the red subscribe button and activate the bell. You will be then informed about our latest family travel tips, hints, and reviews. Thank you for watching and see you soon.